Hey! Hey! Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am doing a Enemies to Lovers book recommendation video today, but I'm also going to show you some books that are also on my personal Enemies to Lovers TBR that you may also be intrigued by. If at any point you think this is interesting or it is helpful to you, please subscribe. That would literally mean the world to me. Can I just say asking people to subscribe is like the hardest thing. I'm like, you don't have to, do, but like it would be so nice if you would. Anyways, so let's begin with the video. I have gathered here today a very great list, in my opinion, of Enemies to Lovers recommendations. Personally, Enemies to Lovers is my favourite trope of all time. I will consume any and all books that is in that trope. It's just something that brings me a lot of joy. And I just felt like talking about some of my favourites today. I have so many more that I could tell you should also read, but then we'll be here forever and no one wants to be here forever, so... When I think of enemies to lovers, I don't think of contemporary books, I don't think of romance books. The ones I think of are fantasy, high stakes, literally death, like that is to the point that these people are. The first one I have here is actually really new to me. I just finished the duology. I'll be thinking about this for so long, but that is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. So this one is kind of confusing to explain, but I'm gonna do my best. So this is a fantasy book, enemies to lovers, Duh. The magic is very kind of more complicated, but it is so cool because it's so different. So in this book, basically, there is this fog that covers the whole kingdom. And if you walk into the fog, either you die or you become infected with these magical powers. But neither one of these options is kind of good for you because either you die in the fog or you get magic and then the king wants you dead. The only magic that is allowed in this kingdom is these like tarot card type things that when you use the card, you can use magic. The king is like, I don't want anyone having magic that is not these cards. So if you have this magic, then you're gonna die because I can't say the name, but it's Dysteries, something like that they will come and hunt you down and that's the end of you. So the main character, so she was infected when she was younger. Her whole life she's been scared that she's gonna be hunted down. That is where the enemies to lovers comes in because the head guard of the this series, he and her meet somehow and it goes on from there and it's like beautiful and you should read it. The next enemies to lovers recommendation I have is Bella Donna. You've probably seen it before. It's by Adeline Grace. This book is so brilliant. And again, it's so unique, just like One Dark Window. Basically, the main character, she was orphaned as a child because everyone around her just dropped dead. So she was handed off to family members, random people to look after her. But all the time, these people were dropping dead. So people kept dying around her. And every time someone would die, she would see death. She would kind of like attribute the death to him. And she was like, I don't like death. Every time I see him, people are dying, right? Her most recent carer, she died. You got moved on to relatives, the Hawthorns? The Hawthorns. They were looking after her and there's like a murder mystery that was going on. But who else helped her in this murder mystery than death himself? Enemies to lovers. Do you get, do you see what's happening here? It's so brilliant and I love it and you should read this because it's stunning. And the second one came out recently. Moving on. This recommendation I read a couple years ago now. I still remember as being literally what Enemies to Lovers is. This is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo and in this book it is about the siren Lyra and she is banished into the human world. She gets banished by her own mother to go back to the ocean. She has to deliver the prince's heart to her mother. That is very much enemies to lovers if I do say so myself because she literally has to kill him because how else are you going to deliver a heart? I just don't, you know, how else? Seriously. The next one is Guild by Raven Kennedy. Basically, this is a King Midas retelling. The main character, she is like her king's prized possession. When he touched her, she became basically a gold human. And if you've seen the fan art for this, she's really gorgeous, but if you think about it, you're kind of like, well, what's going on? And she basically feels like she owes her whole life to King Midas. She's like, he's my fave man. She loves this man. And his mortal enemy is like the general dude of the warring kingdom and that is where the enemies to lovers comes in because this is what this video is about enemies to lovers the amount of times i've said enemies to lovers i hope that made sense that explanation so the next book i'm going to talk about i love carissa broadbent so much the serpent and the wings of night 
this basically is a vampire book but don't be put off by it being a vampire book it is not twilight even though twilight's good i don't care what anyone says it's like so different to a normal vampire book you won't even remember the vampires by the time you finish and what this is about is basically there's this human girl she is adopted by the vampire king and because she is only a human in this world she's kind of seen as like this weak girl who like can't do anything for herself and people like she feels threatened and scared all the time but she's like a strong character don't get me wrong so to fix that she wants to enter this kind of like game it's like a competition where the winner will be granted like whatever they want essentially and she wants to just become more powerful and in the game she meets basically like notoriously strong vampire guy obviously she wants to win so they're obviously enemies she's beautiful and i love her so you should read this one again not sure if i explained it right but we'll see i actually want to reread this so bad because i really liked it but there's just so many books that i want to read that i'm like i don't have time to read everything and it's really stressing me out next one this one i first read a different series of this author and i really liked it so then i read the kingdom of the wicked by kerry menis Maniscalco. Yes, I think I said that correctly. So in this book, the main character's sister is murdered and to find the killer, she goes off on like a little murder mystery hunt to find the killer. To aid her in this journey, she meets one of the wicked, one of the princes of hell, Wrath. And at first she's like really wary of him and she's like, who are you? Like, how are you involved in this? Why are you looking for my sister? She doesn't trust him. They obviously don't like each other. And then, you know, feelings develop. And it's so cute. This is a trilogy and it's like kind of more of a slow burn. I think you'll like it. So you should read this one. The last book is one of my favorites. The Ends of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This is kind of like leads off of another trilogy by this author. It is recommended to read kiss of deception before you read this but at the same time you don't have to read kiss of deception i did read kiss of deception and i didn't like really connect with it but then i read this and i was like this is beautiful so i just want everyone to read it to be honest anyways anyways basically the girl in this she used to be a thief and then she got the role of one of the guards of the new queen so she basically proved herself that she's no longer the thief she once was and she goes on a mission to this like this little town of like outlaw type people who like they think they're their own kingdom but they're within the kingdom of the queen that she serves so she has to basically like shut them down put them in chains you know that's like her task i just that is just like so confusing to explain it is just so beautiful how like their love develops because it's like when they meet it's like <sighs> obviously they don't like each other because he's like you're working for the false queen i'm the real king like we're not gonna vibe don't know if that makes sense and again i'm just gonna move on now i'm going to go through some enemies to lovers that is on my personal tbr you may be curious about some of these are really hyped and some of these i really think i'll love just happen to be right here great for me the first one is powerless by lauren roberts what i know from this book from what i've heard is the main character she has no powers everyone has powers and if you don't have any powers they want to like kill you and you're not supposed to be here so that's kind of what i know so clearly the enemies to lovers is her and whoever's hunting her so the next one is daughter of the pirate king but what i know is that it is about this girl and she's the daughter of the pirate king and she is on a mission for her father to find treasure or something and she somehow gets on the ship of an enemy pirate like crew she is captured by raiden the unexpectedly clever and unfairly attractive first mate but luckily she has a few tricks up her sleeve and no lone pirate can stop the daughter of the pirate king um i think this sounds really good i'm so excited to read this one okay so the absolute last book in this video i'm going to be talking about is these hollow vows by lexi ryan um this is one of these books that I've been meaning to read for like seriously the longest time. I swear like I look at this book and I'm like I need like I want to read you like I, more than I want to read this I want to read this. Like, I'm just gonna read the back because I can't use my brain right now. Marie would do anything before making a deal with the Fae. Death is better than their vicious schemes but when her sister is taken by the sadistic king of the Unseely, Brie breaks her own rules and agrees to steal three magical relics from the rival from the rival Seely court in exchange for her sister's return. Bree's only way inside is to pose as a potential bride for the Seely prince Ronan, a prince who's not quite as wicked as she once thought. Unwilling to let her heart distract her, she accepts 
help from a band of misfits with their own secret agenda. But as Bree spends time with their mysterious leader Finn, she finds herself struggling to resist his seductive charm. Caught between two dangerous courts, Bree must decide who to trust with her loyalty and with her heart. I'm not the biggest fan of love triangles, but I am the biggest fan of enemies to lovers and in my head she ends up with the silly Prince Ronan because I love me an arranged marriage. That is all the books I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. Um, anyways, so, okay.